Hi everyone. I wanted to show you a really simple uh, and quick and easy way of doing a really lovely cupcake topper for a little children's party. So it's here, it's this one. The princess dress cupcake topper. It's really lovely and if you do them in lots of different colours you can obviously yellow, bell, blue, Rapunzel, uh, pink, Sleeping Beauty, Aurora, that kind of thing. They're really simple to do, so I wanted to show you how to do them today. It's two circles that we're going to flute, and then the actual sort of the, the top part, the basque, is a heart, and then we've just cut the point off the heart, and then just some little beads and a rose as added detail there. So I wanted to show you how we do that. I've got a couple of tools, got two different sizes of circle, I've got a heart, I'm doing green with red fondant today, rolling pin knife, one of our tools and this is what we're just going to put our skirt over. Now you can just get half a ball, so one of these polystyrene balls, cut it in half and use that one um, if you don't have these ones, this is a lot cheaper, so you can use that. So let's pop that one out the way and we'll start to roll our fondant out. So I'm using green, you can use whatever colour you want. I was trying to think what princesses could be, but I wondered about, is it Tiana at a princess and the frog? One of my favourite films, that one. So you've got your green fondant. I'm going to just give it a roll. Now there is way too much here, but it's always nice to have too much than not enough. Okay, so you want to have sort of that kind of thickness, pound coin kind of size, kind of thickness, and then two cutters, two different sizes, go for any different sizes you want, as long as they're two, one large and one smaller. And then let's take this excess away. I want to just use my knife just to take it off the board. And then we're going to pop it on one of these sponges. Now we're in if ever you're ever going to flute something, which is what we've done to the skirt, we've actually thinned it out and tried to get it to do a nice flute. You always need something to bounce back. So if we did it on here, what would happen is as we pressed down, put pressure on it, it would just squeeze the fondant. But by putting pressure on the mat, the mat being spongy, it can spring back up. So what you want to do is get your balling tool, three fingers and a thumb, and we're just going to roll it like this. And you're just going to go over the edge. So over the edge and we're just going to turn it. Now you can always go back round. So if you feel it hasn't fluted properly, then we'll go back round. So I'm just doing that in between my fingers. And you can see how thin we've gone. Also, it's going to make this one a lot larger because you're thinning the edges out. And can you see how that's fluted as we've gone round? And then what we want to do is bring our sponge in and just lay that on our sponge. And you've got the lovely flutes there that are going round. I'm going to do the same with our smaller one. So again, three fingers and a thumb. We're just going to move that round like that. So I'm picking the fondant up and I'm placing it down. So rather than my hand having to go round, we're getting the fondant to move. So my hands kind of staying in the same spot. I'm going to move these around. Okay. And then you can see it's kind of fluting out, which is great. And then what you want to do, you can add a bit of water to that to stick it on top. And then you've got the start of your skirt there. And now what we're going to do is bring a bit more of the green in. So move the sponge aside. So you want the heart to be quite thick because it's got to stand up. So we don't want it too thin. So that's probably I don't know two pound coins together. Would that be? So cut your heart out. And then with your knife, I'm just going to take the point away. So you can see what I've done there. Just take the point away, and then we've got that shape. And then what we want to do is just tidy the edges up there. And then again, you can add a bit of water to there. And we're just going to stick it on and we're just going to curve it round like that. Let me show you there. 
and then I had a bit of red fondant so I'm just going to do a couple of different roses so get a tiny bit of fondant roll it in your hands like a little sausage and then if you can just flatten it down just like that and then we're just going to roll it up you want to have a nice tight roll if you can sometimes especially if you've got nails it's a little bit difficult to to pick it up so you want to do a nice now some people can do that in the palm of their hand or pick it up like myself okay so can you see that it's just a nice tight rosebud and I'm just going to stick one just on the side there and there you have it there is your princess dress now you can do these ahead of time as well most all fondant products are edible for up to six months so you want to keep it in a nice airtight container but you can make these ahead of time so if you've got a child's party on Saturday you know you can make these a weekend before keep them on your sponge and that will keep the shape as well do them all different colours and like I say this one I've added a fondant rose and this one it's got some edible pearls on there but they're really simple and easy to make so I hope you do take care